Another emotional day in court. Clint Loreline's murder trial continues with the release of interviews. Good evening. Hello, everyone. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Loreline is charged with the murder of his wife, Sherry, and the attempted murder of his twin adult daughters. Both testified yesterday. Eyewitness News' Amelia Young has been in the courtroom today and has the latest information. Just wrapping up the third day in court, the state has exhausted all their witnesses, and now the defense has its turn. The jury heard from the state's last witness, Detective Matthew Elrod, with the Vanderburg County Sheriff's Office. Warline told Detective Elrod he couldn't recall anything the day after the incident in two separate interviews, but Elrod says Warline admitted to his crimes in a third interview, January 27, 2017, four days after the incident took place. It's in this interview, Loreline shows emotion for the first time crying. Later on in the day, defense attorney Rob Robert Canada called several witnesses involved in the Loreline's almost $500,000 house purchase. Something defense is saying started the stress, which created delusions Loreline had about killing his family. As Loreline walked into court this morning, I asked him if he had anything to say. He looked at me, shook his head no, and kept walking. He's remained motionless throughout the whole trial, but has begun swiveling in his chair now that defense witnesses are giving testimonies. At the court's building, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.